All right, you too. It's your boy. I'm back. It's doggy forever. All right, let's get by starting by showing my tango up again and showing the problems that I have. Yes, I have diatoms. Diatoms growing in my goddamn tank, or whatever you want to call it. The brown death. Yes, the red ring of the aquarium world. You know what about the red ring of the Xbox? Well, this is what I call the brown ring of the aquarium world. This is my 75 gallon tank right here. As you can see, it is going brown dunk goo. Oh my, 120 pounds of live rock. You look at that. See how some rocks are white and some of them are brown. That is some nasty shit. It is an eyesore and there's nothing that I want to keep in my aquarium, especially when I bring a little friend over. Let's look at it. Let's get a closer cool look at this here. Let's talk about this here. I see a lot of people have dealt with this problem about diatoms and silicates and all that in the aquarium. Let's get a closer look at this here. Look at this. 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 I'm sorry about this, but this is a crappy camera. It cost me number 40 bucks. So, you know, work with me. Take a look at this. And all over the rocks. And some down there on the sand bed. Maybe you cannot see that, but it's down there. Be there. Trust me. I won't lie to you. And emerge on my pumps. My wave maker pumps. See, look at, look at that pump. Look, look at that dead. All over there. Emerge on the power cord. And the other one. Uh, and then it's on the overflow box we have here. That's not good. This is not a good problem. I have heard and I have reviewed countless hours on the internet. But this, this is not good. This is not a good thing to have, especially when you're trying to build a reef thing. So, my friends, I'm telling you right now, we need to fix this problem. Uh, but I realized, let's talk about this here, but I realized when I have my light system on, my CPI, that is right there, CPI light, no, that's my hydrometer, it's at 29, <laughs> I know 1.1.2029, 0, 29, something like that, I know that's how it is, but I have no livestock in there, I'm just trying to get my rocks cured, which, I won't say they come along just all right, but them damn brown algae is coming on it. But that's my light. The light is pumping out 500 watts. 500 watts of whatever you want to call it, light, <laughs> sunbeam or whatever. And every time I cut my lights on, this damn brown shit, you know, look like something that I just pulled out, you know, excuse my language, I'm sorry to say, but it's really teasing me off. Not like something that I did shit it out after eating the goddamn bowl of gumbo. You know, that's how it is out in New Orleans, baby. We love gumbo. But, um, it is all over my rocks. And I've been trying to get rid of this shit for the last two days. Well, like I said, I might need to go ahead and buy a phosphate reactor. The two, you know, little fish phosphate reactor 150. And buy some um, phosphate chemicals that goes in it. I might get that food, you know, stuff that goes in it. So I'm going to deal with that there and get this later. And I'm keep it all updated on that. But um, this lot of rocks, I'm telling you, it's... it's it's an eyesore to have this in your tank. I'm, believe me. You never want this in a tank that's not good and it's not healthy and it's not fresh. 
Believe me, it don't look fresh. It do not look good in any way. Yeah, let's, let's take a look back on the side. Right quick. Here. I have yeah, all the top ball system right now. And the two ballistics that wants to see pile up here. Down on the floor. All right, but um, no, my third have been gallon. I'm sorry about that. My third have been gallon is refilling right now with our old system. You want to check that out? All right, good. Let, let's take that out right quick. You know, I think that's time for that. We got what five minutes on this. Let's, let's just take a let's take a walk. I'll take a walk. You taking a walk right here to my house? Going to my kitchen. Oh, here's my old system, reverse osmosis system. I have it hooked to my, behind my washing machine, you know, I found it easy. Oh, what was that? <laughs> Sorry about that. I find it easy to hook it up behind my washing machine. You know, to the cool water supply and pumping out our old system. So, um, I might have to. No, that's my grandma calling me. I'm coming, grandma. Hold up. That's sorry about that. That's my grandmother. She called me. All right. Um, where, where were we? This is my own um, reverse outboot system. And, um, like I said, I got to hook up. Behind the washing machine and dryer's water supply, and here's the 30 gallon barrel of water. We got 30 gallons of water in that there. Now, the thing with that is, I've been using this last time I used it. This is when I first found out about this phosphate situation. I have not had the problem with diatoms and all that until I use this barrel. If you got any problems with this barrel or something like that, concerning using the auto top off system with this reef tank, go ahead and let me know, rate, comment, subscribe. I would love that too. <laughs> but, um, you know, let me know what's up, the cool and everything. Uh, and, you know, I'm trying to get this right here set up. I, <laughs> I got uh, that's the heavy, <laughs> the 30 gallons ain't that light. I need to go ahead and um, unplug that. But this reverse I know system, I got this off eBay for $125. It does not, I repeat, it does not have a deionization. As I'm saying right, you know, a DI, I'll put it like that, a DI added on to it. I've been meaning to get that to it. I'm thinking that's what it might be that's causing these damn diatoms in my tank. Well, like I said, you two, this is another update on my system and my uh, auto top off system with 30 gallon barrel of water. I'm about to get ready to hook up. I'm about to make another video on that and get it started with y'all. So, you know, when you see this video, most likely you'll see the next one. This is Stargate Lives. Oh, and one more thing. A lot of people ask me why. I call myself Stargate Nails. Let me tell you. Is it the Islands? Stargate is the best TV show, and Stargate Atlantis are the best TV show that ever greatest TV, to me, in my opinion. And, you know, they got it off the air. They stopped making it. So, in honor of keeping the Stargate memory alive, I call myself Stargate Double. Twice. Spelled it twice, but you know, but you get the picture. Stargate forever. Please. Oh, and one more thing. When I had that broken skimmer that came to me about, you know, a few days ago, I see one of my subscribers got a nice intro. I'm going to do it in his fashion right here. Fuck that. This is Stargate Lil. Holla.